ago, somebody said, would you like to talk to the executive vice president of operations for Mercy Hospital here in St. Louis, Don Sorensen? And I said, anytime you can get a high-powered CEO here in the studio to talk about all things, we said, absolutely. Don Sorensen, head of Mercy Hospital here in St. Louis. Welcome to Big 550 KTRS. Hey, good morning. Great to see you again. It's been a long time. You have written a book uh, called Big Hearted Leadership, Five Keys to Create Success Through Compassion. Compassion? Who's got time for compassion these days? We're too busy yelling at each other. Well, that's maybe part of the problem, pal. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you know, I, I, re I really wanted to get that book out. Uh, leadership is traditionally thought of as people with experience and great education and uh, business prowess, and that is true, absolutely true. But what I think is absolutely missing and what drives even better success is leading with your heart or leading with compassion. And that's not just... Slaps on the back. Right. That's actually hard work. Ex explain that because this because compassion. I think we have compassion with people we know. We we see it every day. But in the public discourse, it seems like compassion and and empathy is something we as a society are either lacking and or don't want to acknowledge. Well, it does it does seem like that. It does feel like our uh, community, our region, our state, our world. Our country has, has lost its way and has lost compassion, and it's in each and every one of us. And I believe, down to my toes, that to the, uh, the ability to show compassion to your employees and the people around you um, is genuine, is, 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 the, is in everybody, and you need to exercise it. You need to be just absolutely generous in your genuineness. Uh, the, the, the forward is written by one of the nicest people the world has ever created. Jackie Joyner Kersey. I love that woman. I do. I just talked to her just the other day. She's a fantastic person. She's doing wonderful things in our community, and and I'm really proud to call her a friend. And and when I asked her, would you write a forward to my book, um, she she barely just started writing it. <laughs> well, I mean, you you could ask her. Um, could I get on your back and um, could you um, carry me to Los Angeles? She'd be like, okay. When do you want to go? That's her. I mean, that's, you that's, know Jackie. that's Jackie Joyner Kersey. All right, so five keys to create success through compassion. Is this something you um, structure Mercy Hospital with? Is this something you've been working on? Is this something you've done all these years? I have been called to what I do, so everyone does their job uh, because they want to, need to. Um, I believe you need to be called to do your job. And to be called, I do believe I've been called to uh, work at Mercy and work with the great doctors and coworkers and leaders and patients and families at Mercy. Right. So you, so you're right. Be generous with your genuineness. What does that mean? So it, what it really means is be yourself. Don't be somebody else. Be yourself. Uh, be vulnerable. And you know what? If you're scared, show you're scared. If you're moved and you're moved to tears in front of your employees, be moved to tears. Really show yourself. If you're if you're vulnerable, that 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 disarms you, that enables trust, it inspires others. Show your affection. Give people hugs, uh, and that goes the other way too. If you're angry, show your anger. If you're not a hugger, don't be a hugger. Don't be a hugger. Yeah, yeah. it's really you know it's the hardest thing to learn as a human being, not just a leader, but anybody, to really truly know who you are. Right? I think. Yeah. Yeah, and you do need to know who you are, and you need to enthusiastically embrace who you are. Yeah. As a leader, the theory goes, wait a minute, if I show weakness, the people I'm leading will, will smell the weakness, and they'll take advantage of me. So I don't want to show empathy. I don't want to show tears. I don't want to show any weakness. I don't want to be honest with these people. Yeah. Well, th it, that's just simply not true. That's a, that's a fear. That's a fear. If you show your genuineness... If you show your whole self, people see that, and then they'll want to follow you. Yeah. If you, if you, if everyone knows this is a scary moment, and you're not acting in a in that kind of a manner, it is not you. You're not being genuine to the situation and who you are. I often think that if you show you're scared or nervous, or show your compassion, that shows the confidence in a leader, right? A, That's right. A real leader will show. They're scared because they're confident. Right. Transparency is so important. It is. Yeah. And, and that builds trust. Yeah. Uh, you also have another chapter in here. By the way, Don Sorensen with us, head of uh, Mercy Hospital here. His book is called Big Hearted Leadership, Five Keys to Create Success Through Compassion. What is be here and with? What does that mean? So we are in a disembodied age. Texting. You know, you'll sit at a table and you'll be, it's, 
I, you know, you, you, we all see it. Texting and emails and all those type of things. I walk down our offices and everyone's glued to their, their computer. Right. And yeah, I am going to say Facebook and all that stuff is a positive thing. All of this is positive. But yet, more importantly, people more and more want to be here and now and be with and be together and have a personal touch. People want to have a personal relationship and a one-on-one -on -one or one on multi, uh, many people yeah. discussion. You have to be, um, the phone, telephone is not a person. It is one of the things human beings need that social connection. And through social media, we're losing that social connection. Yeah, and I like to think through social media, that's, that is, that is a plus. It is. A, I don't think you. I'm not. Dis, I'm not discounting uh, social media, texting, telephones, and emails. I'm not discounting that. That's been very good for our, our our society. Right. But it should never and not replace personal touch. Yeah, human interaction. Uh, so on the show, I don't. I know this is hard for you to believe, but every once in a while, I'll get a negative email. Every once, every six years. For you, or so. I hardly believe that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll call. We'll call the person and say, hey, what's up? What, you know, and 99 times out of 100, we'll get the most hateful, angry email. And we reach out to the person who wrote it. Good for you. That's great. And they say 99 times out of 100, they say, oh, man, I'm sorry. I was having a bad day. I really didn't mean that. And you think, well, you've ruined my whole day with, with right. your vile comments. But yet well, they never really felt that way anyway. Well, it's really easy to sit behind a computer and pump something out yeah. without the looking somebody face to face, yeah. in, 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 looking in your eye. Right. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Things you would never say to somebody in play conversation, you feel you right. have the right to say it online, and then when you're confronted with, it, you're like, nah, I really didn't think that anyway. That's exactly right. Yeah, or the misinterpretation of the written word. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, one more here. Uh, possess and pass on enduring enthusiasm. How do you do that? Well, enthusiasm is probably of the five, to me, the most important. So the word enthusiasm comes from the Greek word, God inside. So think about that just for a minute. Enthusiasm, God inside. Sort of makes sense, right? It is the essential quality of a big-hearted leader, enthusiasm. Uh, it, Emerson said, nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. So think of the, the law McGraw, of, of uh, thermodynamics, right? The law of therm thermodynamics says, anytime something is at work, it loses energy. Your car, you drive your car, fuel goes down. Right. You run, you get tired. To, so think of your employees, think of your business. You work hard, energy level goes down. Our jobs as leaders is to with enthusiasm, fuel everybody back up. Give Think them how the tools. simple that is. Give That's them the tools, give them the power, give, give them, them the energy, energy. Yep. get out of their way and let them do yep. their job. Yep. That's our job. Don Sorensen with us. The book is called Big Hearted Leadership. Bookstores everywhere, I'm assuming? Uh, Amazon.com? Amazon. Amazon. And, uh, yep, that's probably the best way to go. Do you have any book signings or any events you want to plug? Nothing coming up. No, Nothing sir. coming up? How's Mercy Hospital? Doing very well. You want Real to chime problem. in on this uh, affordable health care controversy that, that's going on as one of the leaders in one of the big hospitals in the region? Well, prob probably shouldn't, but I will <laughs> tell you that um, our, as, as our economy improves, um, that helps all Americans, and access to health care is very critical. So if you put those two together, if we can have better access and more access to uh, health care, uh, that's good for Americans, and with the economy doing better, that's great for all Americans. Don Sorensen, you are always welcome here. Uh, it is. He, I just I just asked him for the event. He said there's no event. Tell me where the event is. Come here. Come here. So we do have. <laughs> you do uh, have an event. Care to learn? Uh, I was trying to give him the enthusiasm to talk about the event, but he didn't take it. When is the event? Well, so we do have an event coming up for Care to Learn. Okay. It's the Champions Chat. This is probably going to be the coolest event in, in St. Louis. Okay. It's November 9 at the Moto Museum. Think about this for a second. We are going to have Isaac Bruce, Jim Edmonds, Brett Hall, and Jackie Joyner Kersey. Nice. All up, uh, Frank Cusimano is going to uh, uh, facilitate it, and they're going to tell fantastic stories of their great, absolutely wonderful careers. Outside of Frank Cusimano, that sounds like a great panel. <laughs> <laughs> when is that? That's November 9th. November 9th. Where do we get tickets? You can go to uh, caretolearn.org. Uh, caretolearn.org. 
I asked him about the event. He didn't. He he fumbled the ball oh, on the one yard so line. So just to be clear, pal, you said do you have any book <laughs> signings come up? Now seriously, I'm going to hold you accountable here. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, the website one more time. Yeah, uh, care to learn. And the the, uh, the date on that. Uh, November 9th. Isaac Bruce, Jim Edmonds, Brett Hull, and Jackie Joyner Kersey uh, at the Moto Museum. That's in uh, that's in Chesterfield Valley, right? No, that's next to SLU. Next to SLU. Oh, yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah. Okay. Did you get any sleep last night? I did. Thursday, November 9th, <laughs> 6 p.m., that Champions Chat. Don Sorensen with uh, Mercy Hospital. You're always welcome here. Thanks.